This is it guys, the sun's out, the wind is low, almost looks like there's rain clouds out all around there and out there actually which is the direction I'm going, but we don't mind a little bit of rain, it's supposed to forecast for a little bit of rain in the morning and then ease off towards lunchtime so yeah, sun's coming up there, water's down there, not a breath of wind at the moment, the swell's supposed to be low as well so it should be a good day out. Get the ski ready, and we'll chuck her in the water and get down there. Alright, we're on the water. Got a good feeling about this, apart from the rain. It is still looking pretty dark out there, but hopefully it doesn't rain on us. Um, yeah, I don't know what the plan is today. We'll get out over the coast, and hopefully it's dead calm out there. And um, we've got a full tank of gas, 90 litres, so the world is our oyster. And we've got a full day as well. The weather's supposed to be good until I think this afternoon at about four o'clock. The wind's supposed to pick up a little bit, but even then it's going to be an easterly. So it'll be an offshore wind and we can just shelter, shelter behind the cliffs and the land. So we'll be fine. It's not going to affect us. Go Mr. Shag. It's been a long time since I've been out down here. So anticipations are high. I think we're probably just going to head deep to a spot that I found um, earlier this year I think it was, or it might have been late last year and it's a really deep spot when I was out there trolling for tuna and anyone who fishes the west coast knows there's just nothing out here, it's just flat and sandy bottom so if you do find a patch of fowl it's definitely worth saving it and don't tell anyone about it <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to go check that spot out. I've got some big Kaburas and about 150 gram the new BDR Kaburas, so they will do the trick nicely for fishing that depth of water. The other thing is, I've done the boat show and that sort of thing recently and moved house, so I had taken a lot of gear off my ski. So, and moving house, I actually sort of lost a lot of my gear as well. I don't know, didn't know where I put it. Thought I knew, but it wasn't there. So. If we do end up fishing for kingies, uh, apart from the leader that I've got tied on, which is 130 pounds, I've only got 80 pound leader with me, which I haven't used in years. I've just had too many bust offs with 80 pounds, but yeah, hopefully it doesn't come to that. We'll only need more leader if we run into sharks or something. So yeah, fingers crossed that doesn't happen, but we do have 80 pound if we need it. And yeah, got new soft baits to try and um, yeah, a lot of new gear. So. Should be a good day. So we're out at the bar. Still the outgoing tide at the moment, still got about about an hour left of the outgoing tide, so I'm just going to sit here and watch the waves for a while and see what they're doing, make sure there's no nasty patterns happening, nothing that's going to catch us out. And yeah, once we're all happy with that, we will start heading out there. It's looking fairly calm at the moment, pretty typical of this sort of swell size on an outgoing tide. Right. Been a long time since I've been out here, so no doubt the um, channel has changed that we have to take, which is just part of this bar really, because it's quite a narrow channel. But it always pays to make a GPS trail every time you go out.
I am safely across the Waikato River bar. Okay, Roger, Coast Guard radio out. Right, we're out on the coast. You can see the um, fog rolling down the hills over there. <laughs> it's actually still a little bit lumpy out here at the moment, but we'll push on out and get out of the um, current zone behind the river and it generally calms down there where the water cleans up. So yeah, that's it, we're back on the water. We're getting a bit of rain on us now. There's some darker clouds out to our left. Out there. So I'm going to head for that nice sunny spot straight ahead of us. So we've got a lot of birds in this area here. Flying around, not doing too much, but they are fairly active. There's a lot of fish on the sounder. Most likely car wire, but figured I may as well have a cast. Have a warm up cast and see if I can still remember how to catch fish. <laughs> they can be funny sometimes, they won't eat something if it's too different from what they're actually eating. And I haven't seen what they're eating yet, could be. Um, We've got one on. Could be Jack Max or um, anything like that, really. Quite often is Jack Max out here. Pulled the hook. And another one biting. Do a cast and retrieve and see what happens. Oh, it's Kawai on it. <laughs> I imagine if I stop halfway through my retrieve, I will most likely hook one. So if I stop now, They're still there. Ah. Oh, there we go. He's got it. Hold the hook. It's quite funny, I can see them. Um... There we go, he got one. Pretty much straight away then. Always pays to keep an eye out when you've got a fish near the boat like this as well. Just to see whether there's any larger fish like kingfish around. Back you go mate. Right, I think I'm going to leave these guys alone. I've caught my warm up fish. I think I'm just going to carry on out to my deep water spot. Alright, after a bit of a wet ride out here, we are out at our spot. Um, haven't had much of a scout around yet. I'll just uh, get the rod ready, figure out which way we're drifting, which is pretty much bang on south at the moment. And there's a little bit of sign around, so I might rig up one of those 150 gram kaburas and um, Drop it down and see if we can get into some fish. So we just drifted over a reasonable amount of sign. I've actually gone past it now, but I'll do a drop anyway. Got a 100 gram kabura on from, would have been from the last time I was out here, probably six months ago. But we'll just see if that's heavy enough to get down there first. And that'll decide whether we need to switch up to the heavier weight. Well, we had some bites, 
I switched up to the 150 gram BDI Kibura just to get down to the bottom of it quicker. The wind's picked up a little bit. We've got a bit of a rainstorm over there. So hopefully that doesn't um, affect us too much. Yeah, it's a bit quiet today so far. But we did just have a fish on, which is always a good sign. There you go, more bites. Got our first fish on. I'll turn the camera off because it takes a while to get them up when they're this deep. Alright, so we lost that other fish. I've just dropped it back down. It's going down now. There's a lot of sign down there, so I think we're going to potentially hook up straight away once we get to the bottom. But we should be at the bottom pretty soon. Yeah, instant hookup. Yeah. Alright, we'll see if we can keep this one on the line. And there we go, we got a snapper, not a huge one. But good eating size nonetheless. Alright, there's our first fish of the day on the BDI Kibura. First of hopefully many more. Alright, so we got a bit of wind picking up now. And we're getting too much of an angle on our line when we drop the lure down. So I've just started the ski, turned it into the wind, and I just bump it in and out of um, forwards and into neutral just to um, help keep the line angle straight up and down. You always seem to catch more fish that way. And um, we'll be at the bottom almost now I think. So we will see what happens. Oh there we go, straight to a fish. Feels like a good one too. Definitely better than the last one. Definitely pays to um, turn the ski on and just idle in position over the spot while you're dropping the lure down. Got an instant hook up that time. There it is, another nice snapper. It's been a pretty slow day so far guys and the weather's not the best so we're still having to idle to get on the spot and it takes quite a bit of driving around just to um, find the fish. But the good thing is when we find them we hook up straight away like that.
It's just a little bit time consuming having to drive around to find them. As you can see, the, um, there's quite a bit of chop out here. Which is not the nicest conditions to be out in. But at least we're catching fish. Could be worse, we could be catching a cold, which hopefully we're not. Still quite warm at the moment. we got this time? I'm assuming it's another snapper. It's too heavy to be a gurnard. There we go, another nice snapper. Good fish. There we go. Another nice snapper on the BDI Kabura again. It's such an easy lure to fish. You literally have to do nothing, just drop it down there and hold on. We sold a lot of those at the boat show just recently. They're probably the favourite lure. But it's just, especially if you're a beginner to um, lure fishing, they're probably the best to start off with because they're so easy to use and um, anyone can fish them and catch fish with them as well. Sending the old BDI Kabura back down again. Just going in and out of neutral to keep us on the spot. Wait till we get to about the pink colour on the line. That's how where we normally hit the bottom. But it should be hitting it any second now. There we go. A few wines off the bottom. We don't get an instant hook up this time. Found another little patch of fowl, a oh, patch of sign. Just dropping down onto it now, should be about on the bottom. No bites. Well, I did a bit of a mechanical jig. 15 meters off the bottom and hooked something. Doesn't feel huge, but at least it's a fish. Yeah, it's a small snapper. Not ideal bringing fish this size up out of deep water, but doesn't look like he's inflated, so he should be able to swim back down fine with a bit of luck. If you go, mate. Yeah, I can see him going down there. That's good. Okay guys, we found a decent amount of sign just then. Probably some of the better looking sign that we've seen on this trip so far. 
keep the ski idling again just to stay on the spot. Oh, this BDI Kabiro goes down and does its job. Can't actually see the sign on the sounder anymore. The patch is a sign is so small this trip. It's it's like the fish are just spread out in little patches. Where are we? Are we on the bottom? What's going on? Yeah, we're definitely on the bottom. No bites yet. And now the rain's starting to fall down. There we go, finally got our bite. Took a bit of time working the lure, but finally found a fish. Wind's actually died right off now. Comes, what have we got? Yeah, another good sized snapper. I think that might be the biggest one of the day so far. Once again on the BDO. On him. Wouldn't want him getting your finger. Send him down again. Still catchy sign on the fish finder. If that works. It's so hard to tell how big these fish are. So that one went on a decent run at the start, but now it seems to be just seems to have given up and it's coming up with not a lot of effort. That's why whenever I tell people when they ask me how do you fish these Kabura lures? I said, well you can actively fish them a bit or you can literally just stick them in the rod holder and they'll still catch fish just like that
that was silly. Uh, that's just another reminder to always use your net. I don't know why I do that. Every time I use, do that, something I end up losing gear or losing the fish or something. And I never seem to learn. I thought this was actually 40 pound leader, so reasonably heavy stuff, but obviously it isn't. It might be lighter than what I think. That'd be typical. Just as that happens, there's a lot of really good sign going by on the fish finder. Right, we're back in action. Got a green skirt on that Kabura now. I think I've actually lost a few tassels off this skirt. It's quite an old one. But we'll chuck that down, see what happens. Got another fish on. Yep, just a small one. Back you go, fella. Right, it looks like the rain is going to set in. Coming from there, it's looking pretty dark. So, I'm going to call it a day out here and head back in, close to the land, have a fish in there, because I don't want to get caught in that rainstorm. Couldn't resist stopping and having another play with the car while on my way back in. Oh, he's gone. Well, oh, it's a really big ocean going car out here on the west. back inside the river it's nice and calm in here completely different to what it was like out deeper past another jet ski on the bar he was heading out so yeah we'll just have a try for some Trevally on our way home be rude not to probably sort of the wrong tide at the moment for Trevs but we'll give it a go anyway you never know unless you try well it's not looking very promising today guys and one more cast go out that way see what happens Alright, that's it. Uh, time to call it a day and head home. Be a nice cruisy ride back to the ramp at least. <laughs>